coming back from last year's defeat against them in the final, I think we were all really disheartened. And then coming back into this year, um, winning them, beating them at home, and then obviously losing in like the last minute away to them. Yeah, it's going to be definitely going to be a really big fight and really good game. All our training sessions have been really like beneficial and really good. Um, and obviously beating Gloucester Hartbury by such a big scoreline in the game changers game, I think is really good for us and really big confidence. And obviously playing Loughborough, I think you know it was a really really tough game and like everyone I think was really sore and like tired after it. But we scored quite a few tries against them and it allows us to go like with our heads up high and be like yeah you know this is going to be a good final quite a tough uh, attritional game as well last week yeah definitely yeah. i think everyone was really tired after i think even after half time everyone was like oh i feel like i've played 80 when it's only been 40 minutes but yeah no it was really good and it was nice for the team to come together and get a really good win under our belt well, what will it be like playing in the final yeah no it is it's really special especially like with such a special club and team um like we're all like such a close-knit team it will be really good for us to get back into the final and you know hopefully hopefully get the win but we've just got to see um where it goes and playing at um ealing trail finals last year was a really good game and you know on a um artificial pitch was really good and because it was like such a tight game like no one could really call it until like the last minute so i think hopefully it'll be the same this year because you know everyone wants a tight game like competitive game but then hopefully we'll come out on top Talk me through the year that you've had. I mean, just could you have, have imagined that you would have achieved everything you have done in the last 12 months or so? No, not at all. I think, I know I had a memory on my phone that like this time a year ago, I won a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. So, I mean, it's been like phenomenal. And then to be in my first Six Nations and win a Grand Slam and then to come back into Quinns and such a high and let like, everyone welcome me back. I think it's really good. And that's what the club is like. It's such a wel welcoming family that I didn't feel like I'd ever been ever left. And I think it's really been really good, but I've got such a good support network around me. Like Quinns have supported me like when I left for the Sevens programme and um, like coming back into 15s, it's been really good. And what about the, the transition? I suppose going from sevens back into 15, how's that been? Yeah, it was quite tricky at the start. I think we, um, I was only allowed like half a game in my first game, which I think was really important just to get back into it and not not rush um, rush back into playing 15s because it is a different game. Um, like there are co some concepts that are the same, but it is very different. And you know, it's so much longer. I think I, when I was on the pitch, I was like, like so surely it's finished now. But no, it wasn't. But um, no, it's been really good. And like I said, the club's been really behind me, like supporting me with like anything that I need to get back into playing 15s. And an amazing year would just be capped with a win next weekend. Yeah, definitely. I think that'll be a top off an incredible year. And um, yeah, and then we can go into the summer feeling nice and fresh and get back into training.